A school board in Virginia is at the center of a firestorm. Parents demanding resignations after they say a sexual assault on campus was covered up. Now it's a hot button issue in the state's very tight governor's race. Here's Katie Beck. You failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. In Loudoun County, Virginia, last night, parents reach a boiling point. Once again, school board members facing the heat. Resign or be removed. Many parents demanding new leadership after they say a sexual assault at a county school was covered up by administrators to advance a transgender bathroom policy. All of you must go and we will take back our schools. A judge finding this week a 14-year-old male student guilty on two counts of sexual assault. Officials saying he wore a skirt, entered a girl's bathroom and assaulted a 15-year-old female student back in May. He was later accused of assaulting another student at another school in October. School leaders say they notified authorities of both allegations immediately, though at a June meeting, the superintendent saying this. Do we have assaults in our bathrooms or our locker rooms? To my knowledge, we don't have any records of assaults occurring in our restroom. Angry parents calling that a lie after the release of an internal email sent from the superintendent to school board members in May, notifying them of the incident. Ian Pryor has two children attending Loudoun schools. They knew that this controversial bathroom policy that they were trying to pass would get derailed if that news got out. The superintendent recently apologized, saying he wrongly interpreted the question and does not believe there was any intent to deceive. Yesterday, students walking out in protest saying they did not feel safe in school. 